Okay, hopefully you can see that. It is at night. Uh, I'm probably my neighbours are in bed. <laughs> but I've got a piece of uh, fabric. Now I'll measure it. It's measuring. thirty four centimeters long by twenty four centimeters in length in depth and I now need to cover that so I now have a piece here of this super soft fabric that we have I mean it is gorgeous I love it make some space on my desk and I think as long as I can get that there and that bit there, I can cut the end off. Do I want to do that? Hmm. Would have been nice to have done it in one piece, wouldn't it? Let me just go cut another piece. Because it's going to be a shabby one. You don't have to do it like this, though. So I'm just going to cut this off. We might need to trim around the edge anyway. <clears throat> I hope you can get all of this in. But you'll have to bear with me if not, because I can't get the camera any further away, if you know what I mean. Let me just see. Near enough. So, uh, here's another piece. Let me do it that way, I think. So that's more or less the straightest edge. So what I'm going to do now is to glue this down first. Yeah, I can do that. Just run the glue down the side. Hopefully this is hot enough. Like I say, press the fabric down like that. I smell something burning. What's burning? My glue gun. Hope not. <laughs> Just going to cut this. So I can manoeuvre it about. That's better. I'm going to turn it over that way. Pull that back and do the same this end. in there like that and then I'm gonna do the same this end In there, like that. Leave that picture out of the way. That's for tomorrow's project. I wasn't going to do another one tonight because I was tired, but I managed to just have a sit down for five minutes. So I don't feel too bad. That's near enough, isn't it? So I'm just going to cut around the edges.
I'm going to put a little pocket in here. Uh, and I am going to use the same fabric. So I now need to cut this as straight as I can. Hmm. I just need a straight line. That won't go to waste. And I need that there and about there. So we need to cut that. Let me just see. That's obviously not straight. I can see that now. That will do. And what I've got to do is just attach this here. So I'm going to do it on the edge first. In fact, I'll do the edge of this. Let's push that down. I hope you can see this. Okay. Now, what I've got to do is I'm going to mark it a little bit because I do need to have um, gaps. Let me just cut this off. I'm not well. I'm not going to cut that off until I've finished. Okay. So, there's my ruler. And there's the first one. Uh, I think we can do that. I'm marking it every centimetre. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 we're going to do one at two centimeters so we'll do three of those and then leave that blank same again here now i've never done one like this before so it uh, may work it may not <laughs> oh i'm going to use my ruler i think let me just see now. Yeah, I'm going to have to use my ruler as a guide to where I want this. And without touching my ruler. Like that. And now what I've got to do is to make sure all the bottom sections 
are glued in. And to do that, we'll just poke the glue gun under. And we can glue all of that in. And I'm going to glue this right to the end. Like that. <clears throat> and then we're going to take this end and glue this down. And then I'm just going to trim that off. Now you can do this out of any fabric. I'm choosing to do it out of this one because I like this fabric. But like I said, you do it out of any, whatever takes your fancy. And we should be able to slot your pins in your um ah see now there we found one open so we can close that one up the next one just make sure they're done but if they're not done you can go back and do them that's it. Okay. Now, that isn't perfectly straight, so I'm just going to straighten this bit off. That's it. For me, anyway. So, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to round that off. Same with this one. Yeah, that'll do. Now, what else can I do? Easy. I'm going to put some fabric in, uh, some lace in this. And I'm going to use my uh, favourite one. The Nottingham. This. I don't want it too fancy, it's just for decoration. Trim all the excess off. That's not a problem. Now, the strips I cut off, I'm obviously not going to want to waste them. So what I can do with this, um, and I'll just need to get something out to show you. Uh, 
see what I've done with them. And we've got one of those. Put them in here. Oh, no, but we've got some of those. It can be a, for all kinds of things. Right. We've got pins we can put in. And I'll show you what I mean about that. So, what I can do is, we can do this, thread them all, thread the small ones on first for you. Now, don't forget, you can decorate all these pieces up first. You can actually put whatever you want on. So, now we've got our pins on. So I'm going to have my pins here, like that. I may need to cut some of this off. Just leave that there. So you've always got somewhere to hang your pins. Like that. Here, um, we could do with a couple of strips, just small ones. Probably no bigger than that. And if you just hang fire. I mean, like I say, if you're doing it with ordinary fabric, Or you can mix your fabric. You can actually flip that over there. Just glue in the ends like that. And for that, you can add, oops, it's not dry yet, but needles. like this so you've got like a another little sewing thing but obviously you want to put your crochet hooks in tape measure I mean this is not a real one this is just a, a pretend one it's just tape measure ribbon but it will still measure right <laughs> okay so if you had your tape measure, you just put that through as well. Well, we've got a little pocket where we can keep our little... This was my dad's. Little bits and pieces in there. We've also got some pins. Now, let me just see what else I've got. I've got those crochet hook needles, crochet needles, cable needles, sorry. You can also put some of them in. Let me find another one. Uh, there's another one somewhere. Oh, I have lots of crochet needle. Oh, I've got one of those as well, look. One of those pins. Where's that big one? Oh, I don't know if the pa uh, pouch was big enough, yeah. A uh, little knitting needle. Another crochet hook. Like I say, the scissors are there. But your scissors can go in there as well. Let me just see. But hey, oh, here's another one. There's another one. Oh, it's a, a needle crochet hook one. Ah. 
That's for my thin ones. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to take my bits out of it. I'm going to put this as a kit, so I will put enough lace and trims and doilies in it. Now, the other holder you can do, which I like to do, is if you can get hold of a tube. Let me just show you. Here we go. Let's just have a look. Let me get my pliers. This is an old button tube. And what you can do with that is the same principle. Is to cover it. I mean, you can get these wider. We do, we sold them. We've sold them many times. That's not quite wide enough. But you can cover that uh, and add your hooks in there. Something like that. If you haven't got one of these, don't worry about it. If you haven't got a, uh, a button tube, although we've sold them and I can get them in again if you want, you can use one of these, an old inner tube, to uh, uh, and make one of those. Let's see, here's my ruler. I don't think you'd need to do one any more than... Well, it's only to hold your um, pins in, isn't it? So what are they, about six? Six inches. Like that. So we've done that. Now we can take our fabric, see if I can cover it with this, what I've got, this piece. Oh, I've got something in my eye. Another thing is to get string. In fact, I might do that. Let me do it with a string. So I like doing things like this instead of wasting that. Right. Don't worry about this. We can sort that out. Take your glue. And we're just going to go around the top. Right, now we've got that done, we can just snip that, now do that, there, 
and then all you need to do is to add a base to it which we do sell the wooden discs <laughs> I think I'll do it from that side fits perfect and you can use them like that hold anything even your pens well, if you like me and got long glue sticks you could do that as well and then you can decorate them up I think we'll come back tomorrow and finish that because I'm tired uh, oh look I've got a little bit of ribbon here look at this <laughs> I'm sorry I've just seen it I'm going to have to use it Yeah, I'm going to have to use it, I'm afraid. Just to decorate it up. Around the top. There you go, and then what we can do, add a little bit of beading, and we can add this beading to the bottom, part of a necklace. Look, we just do that. Just to decorate it up. Oh, here we go. New glue stick. See, like that. I haven't got enough to do the top, so we're going to have to choose a different one. I want this a little bit bigger than that. We've got any more of that? It's a little bit bigger, yes. Oh, we can do it in one piece. Not a problem. No problemo. Uh, we'll use this as the back. You could do individual ones, you know, for desktop tidying. And uh, they'll look cute on your desk, won't they? I mean, I maybe should take my own advice. <laughs> I do actually have mine organised. It's an organised mess. <laughs> I know where it is, though. See? That's cute. And then I can take hold of something I have just to be simple and waste, uh, not wasteful. I'm just going to add one of those, like that. And I don't want that poking out everywhere. Like that. So there you go. Nice little pot. And a fabric book. Um a crochet hook holder. Plus other bits. But like I say. You can do what you like with them. I will take these out. I will put the lace to go around. Um, I will put some doily bits in. I think it was Jane Robinson. 
asked about it. Th that's how I'd make one, Jane. Just so you know. Um, and if you mark these out, th they're more than efficient, you know, to uh, put your bits in. And then you can add little bits and pieces here as well. And make sure you've got a big pocket. I'm going to send this to you, Jane, and you can finish it off. And I'll give you all the bits to do it with, including some really nice um, doily bits and that. Let me just sort some out for you. Let me have a look, see what I've got here. Oh, here's a nice one for you. Look, now you can really make that into a book. Let's do it that way. Right, and there's doilies on that, so look. Now that would make a book, wouldn't it? To hold all your things. Fabulous. I will send you that, and for the inside, I'll keep that... Uh, to, you know, to send you, I'll send you that, plus that, and I'm going to send you that one as well, for you to do something with them, and I'll also put you some bits and pieces in, but there, all you have to do, put it together Jane, and that's because you, Jane Robinson I think that is, because you asked me about it. Uh, let's give you some of these as well. Oh, my favourite leaves. Now you're, now you're honoured. These are velvet leaves. So I'm going to give you four of those, Jane. Now, I, I use them sparingly. And I will get some trims out for you. OK, darling. For Jane Robinson. Thanks for watching, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.